Hey YouTube, Sack Guy here. I want to talk today about something in my collection. Looks like the simple Boy Scout pocket knife. Well, it is. This is one of my newer ones. And the Scout knives normally you find have four basic implements. You have your master cutting blade, your punch, screwdriver cap lifter, and can opener. Now, Boy Scouts of America over the years have had several different companies make the knives swarm. This particular knife hold up here Let's see if the camera's picking that up is made by Ulster and one of the ways you can tell that it's an official scout knife is it'll be etched on the blade the official scout knife when it's brand new most of these knives are carbon steel so they will rust the blade will get a patina and so on these are the basic tools that they have on Boy Scout pocket knives. Get it centered here. Now I have some Scout pocket knives that the main thing that's changed is your shield. On this, on the newer ones, it's a round shield with the Boy Scout fleur de leaf. The original knife, which this one that I'm going to show you here, this is a copy of the original. And you'll notice the main difference on it is you have the master blade the cap lifter screwdriver, the awl, but the can opener is a different style. In the early 1900s, this was what they used as a can opener. And instead of the Boy Scout emblem on there, they have a shield, Let's see if this, if it'll pick it up, or if the glare's not too bad. It says, be prepared. It has the Boy Scout model motto on it. If I held it upright, you might be able to read it. So you notice that, and I bought this in like 1985, 1986 uh, for the 75th anniversary. And you can see that on the etched on the blade. It's also numbered, which is really hard to see. And this was made by York, New York Knife Company. Now, I was a Boy Scout once, which is one of the reasons I like the Boy Scout pocket knife. And I became later so enamored with the Swiss Army knife but I started going to gun shows and flea markets and seeing other knives Boy Scout pocket knives and over the years a lot of it the shield has changed most of them are going to be a delirium handle uh, jig bone pattern um, because let's face it these were knives for young boys young teenagers boys that were 10 11 years old you're not going to go out and buy a really expensive knife but they were well made now okay. 
let me run over the specs on these all these knives are three and five eighths inches long the master blade is two and a half inches has a two and a half inch cutting area or sharp blade and all of them weigh in the neighborhood of three to three and a half ounces I had the only one that's heavier than that is this knife this knife comes in at four ounces the rest come in at uh, around three and a half and I got a couple of whittlers that are in come in at uh, two ounces now put this over here as you can see the handle on the back is brown and again it's just the delirium with the jig bone pattern but as you can see the shield is almost engraved in the uh, plastic it's not metal and on that one it's a bit worn and then another one it's brown where it's been taken out it's white where it's been carved and black on the back now this one has a metal shield on it and it's an oblong shield instead of a round shield they went from this style to this style in a similar style that up there it has plastic and laid on it now some of these knives as you can see because of the carbon steel they start getting a patina on them and again young boys were the ones that were carrying these in their pockets and they weren't that fastidious this knife has been in has never been used this one has been used a few times now another variation of the knife was one and this is a uh, white delirium it's got the round shield on it I think this knife is from around the 70s but it has an extra thing uh, implement it's a Phillips head screwdriver and then has the can opener your master blade your punch have that there put this here and you can see there got all the other implements screwdriver can opener master blade and then the Phillips now this knife is my newest one one of my newest or my yeah my newest Boy Scout knife it's the same pattern as this except this was bought um, early 2000s has the can opener screwdriver knife blade and then the punch and the Phillips is a little bit smaller than notice the size of the the implements there one's a little bit bigger the others longer one's fatter I guess you would say
and this is an Ulster knife made by Ulster and then this knife was made by Camulus so I bought it before Camulus went out of business now those are your standard all these are your standard Boy Scout pocket knife these were considered a deluxe model because it had the Phillips head now I have another knife Boy Scout knife this knife I bought back in the mm, mid 70s around 75 or so it's a whittler it has a saber ground master blade and again it's a two and a half inch blade knife's about three and a half inches long has a sheep's foot blade and then a clip blade now this is a flat ground blade whereas the master blade was um, a saber ground where you can see it after this large nail neck it starts being ground uh, down the edge get, starts going down from there it's also a carbon steel blade you'll notice a bit of rust on it and you'll notice the scales are a little bit off colored reason for that I had this knife in the early, in the mid 70s I was in the Air Force uh, the pockets of our utility uniforms were made in such a way things fell out of them a lot I was on a um, cutting a large uh, field in a mower on a mower it was a uh, old-fashioned riding lawnmower and it fell out of my pocket and a couple days later I commented that the last time I remember having the knife was when I was cutting the grass so me and a couple of friends of mine went out to the field that I had been cutting at my uh, unit and we found the knife in the grass. It had been there for like two days or so, face up like that. And that's why this side is so off colored. It laid in, out in the sun in South Carolina, getting mildew, and, or not mildew, but getting uh, the morning dew on it and everything. And it just changed colors on me. But that's the, the story on that little knife. Put this up here now I've got one other knife Boy Scout knife there's no makers mark on it again in the 75th anniversary of the Boy Scouts in boys life there was an ad that if you bought a certain item I forget what it was but if you had a proof of purchase of um, some type of candy bar I believe if I remember correctly or so many proofs of purchase and you sent them in and paid for shipping and handling you got this knife it has the Boy Scout logo on it it's a bit of a serpentine with the bail on it and on the blade is etched 75th anniversary of Boy Scouts of America 1910 to 1985 it has uh, a flat ground master blade and then a sheep's foot and a pen blade Now there's no markings as to who made the knife, but I remember seeing it in the, I believe it was Boy's Life, and sent off for it and got it. Just thought it was a cool knife. Over the last five or ten years, well probably about the last ten years, I've bought these other knives. Originally in my collection all I had was these two and then this one 
and then I started picking up the others. When I would go to gun shows, you know, flea markets or so on, I'd, I'd find one, I'd go ahead and buy them. And part of it to me was I knew that at some time somebody had owned these knives and used them. And not knowing the story, I still thought they were rather cool knives. I have one knife here. Ah, this one. You can see it has been well worn. Blade's a little loose there. But... It was a well used knife. I don't believe I paid that much for it. I just liked it because of that uh it had a different emblem on it than what I was used to. I was used to the round circular emblem and then started seeing all these others and started picking them up. And this is my small collection of Boy Scout knives with <laughs> along with all my other knives that I have. This is just a small part of it, but I thought I'd share it with you today. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day, and remember, always be prepared.